Today in this video, we are going to do an introduction. We are going to interview our friend here. We are going to ask you to like and subscribe. Then we are going to describe the product, its features, and do a demo of it. Mm. Then, our friend is going to describe how health sciences work mm. and how this would work in the nursing world. Then we'll tear this thing down, we'll know the table, we'll review the components, we'll describe how it works, and then we'll do an outro where I'll we'll probably ask you to like and subscribe again. What's up, Edward? Oh, hey, Edward. Hi, hey Welcome guys. Welcome to Tomorrow Lab. How's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you guys. What brings you to, to New York? I'm here for a couple of meetings, and you were nice enough to invite me here to do a teardown video. Awesome. Cool. Where do you normally live? I live in Taipei, nice. uh, half the time, and the other half is split in all various places in the US. And what do you do? Uh, so I run a venture capital firm uh, called Mesh Ventures. We're based operationally in Taiwan, but we invest primarily in the U.S. And uh, we try to take advantage of the resources we have in Asia, uh, engineering, manufacturing, and child development in that area, and help the startups that we invest uh, accelerate growth through those resources. Hmm. Have we worked with any of your startups? Yes, actually, through you guys. Uh, introduced Hyper to me, and we made a pretty large uh, investment uh, in, in Hyper, uh, and they're doing quite well. So yeah. thank you to, uh, awesome. uh, for, for introducing that deal. And uh, how's it going at Mesh Ventures? You're, you're doing your second, um, what do you think? What, how does, I don't know anything about venture capital. I should. It's like a fund. You're a doing fund. your second fund. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah so um, we're, we're coming to the end of the first fund, which was uh, primarily focused on uh, enterprise applications of IoT. Uh, so we're looking for companies where uh, they can uh, extract data in a proprietary manner and create a product or service around that data. You had, I had an idea of what we should tear down mm -hmm. and here it is on the table. Yeah. What is it? So this is a blood pressure monitor and why I thought it'd be fun to uh, do a tear down of uh, blood pressure monitors because they're a fair amount of closed feedback loops in it. Um, we have um, some mechanical actuation in it. Uh, and there's you know, a biophysics component to it. So uh, I think it's a good uh, interdisciplinary product. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, it's got um, some great uh, human machine interface aspects to it as well. How does it work? What, is, what does this do? OK, well, <laughs> as you can see, this is a cuff. I think it usually goes on the left hand. Uh, uh, and you're supposed to have it um, okay. so that you're closer to the heart. Yep, closer to the heart. Got it. We posted this picture to Instagram last night, mm. and my dad commented, and he was like, that's the right arm. That's the wrong <laughs> arm. You mean the wrong arm. Well, the wrong arm, but uh, it's the right arm is the wrong arm. And sorry, PJ, it's on the left. <laughs> we just only had a right arm available. Um, the sensor inside is going to pick up on uh, basically your, uh, the vibrations from your heart stopping. Uh, and that's where it'll add a little bit more pressure and then start to release. And as it releases, um, it's picking up on all the vibrations coming out of uh, your, your arteries. And then um, from there, it'll extrapolate what the systolic and diastolic pressures are. Millimeters mm -hmm. of mercury. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a pressure. It's a pressure mm -hmm. in millimeters yeah. of mercury. Mm -hmm. I yeah. know because it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's the, uh, the pressure in, in the vein when, when your heart is contracting, and then uh, it's the pressure in the vein when it's not. So it's kind of describing really the health of your heart. By yeah. the way, this is from yes. Omron. Mm -hmm. It has both batteries, mm -hmm. battery door, mm -hmm. and DC power. Well, so so it just goes when I turn it on. So mm -hmm. you're going to... Start to feel uh, it. Isn't that nice? Like, why, why bother? Yeah. Right. You should probably keep your arm out like that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel my heartbeat. 104 over 67. Not bad. All right. 86 beats per minute. Must be excited to be here. Mm hmm Well, uh, if anyone wants to get their blood pressure, now's the time, because I'm going to mm -hmm. cut this thing apart. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So in our teardown, uh, you know, the first thing we took apart was this uh, cuff. 
the cuff is is really well made. It's one of these things that they make a lot of and it's, it's a really intense manufacturing process. It's a composite series of materials. On the inside of the cuff, we have a, uh, a, a woven material that creates a super stiff perimeter for the outside of the bag. And then we have the pressure bag that happens to be here. Mm -hmm. mm. This is uh... it's all one bladder. Yeah, okay. and now this mm -hmm. has a predictable amount of expansion, right? Mm -hmm. And so what you have is a rigid side and then mm -hmm. a predictable side, and this sort of acts as like the spring that creates the amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the tube outlet is here, right? So this, yeah. this is yeah, that's the inflating part. We've got this, that's, uh, mm -hmm. and this is all sealed in, and we're working with a smart fabrics company right now, and uh, this is just, this is hard to do. Mm -hmm. And so like probably half of their patents and their greatest barriers to competitive entry mm. are built into stuff like this. Interesting. Mm. So being in Vietnam, there's a lot of subsidies uh, for creating textiles in, uh, in Vietnam, so that's why a lot of uh, Taiwanese and some Chinese manufacturers have their factories uh, in, in Vietnam instead. Okay. We've got this beautiful display situation here. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly inexpensive type of LCD, mm -hmm. uh, which is a segmented LCD. Mm -hmm. It's black and white. All of the, the shapes are sort of pre-scribed into mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. whereas like uh, the, the LCD you have on your old iPhone, that's all, you know, it's a matrix LCD, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so by, you know, passing some uh, electrical current through the display, then we're aligning the liquid crystals uh, in each of these prescribed cells. And so when uh, there's, there's power and it's aligned, then you get transparency. Uh, where there isn't, uh, then the, the crystals go back to uh, a scattered phase and that's where you get uh, the opacity. The result is you get a nice big display. It's very, very clear. And we have this beautiful backlight here. And mm -hmm. so if you look at this piece, it's got these little tiny dots etched into the back of it. And when they flood LED light from this side, those dots light up, mm -hmm. they edge light, and then they're sandwiched between these two pieces of uh, film. This is an opaque white film, this is a translucent white film, and this translucent film glows, and it forms the backlight for this display. Then we've got this, uh, this great switch, which we could do an entire episode on. It's mm -hmm. got this beautiful over-center click-click in the back. Mm -hmm. And so as this goes yeah. over here, the spring compresses in the middle and then it expands mm -hmm. and so that way it finds center in these two different places. Yeah. yeah. Let's get into the technology. How is this thing measuring uh, my blood pressure? Okay. So this is the entire pump solenoid sort of air control module mm -hmm. and it has its own electrical pathways built into it. And so what's going on here? So you have the positive and ground from the batteries coming in, uh, two channels to drive the motor, and then one or two channels to drive the solenoid. Mm -hmm. and so that means I can pump this up by triggering that line, mm -hmm. and then when I want to release the air pressure, I trigger this line and the solenoid flicks mm -hmm. and the air releases. But there's one component that's missing here, which is the air pressure sensor. It's a downward facing sensor through the main board that plugs mm -hmm. in here. So this is a, an amazing example of good design for manufacturing. The battery holder, the motor holder, the solenoid holder, and all of the air pads are incorporated in one chassis. And some brilliant person was like, well, listen, we need all of the power here to run these two sort of power hungry components. We can put big fat copper traces on the back here mm -hmm. to distribute that power and ground to those things. Mm -hmm. And then we can control it with this much smarter PCB through just two lines. Mm -hmm. Right, you've got the same thinking over in the air valve system, some type of flexible rubber that's linking the three systems, the pumping system, the solenoid check valve, and the pressure sensing system. Like and subscribe if you haven't already since the beginning of this video. Mm -hmm. Please do. And check out, uh, where can they find you? On the uh, mesh.vc. Cool. Very straightforward. What? Put There's a there. TLDR for... Or not TLDR, what is it? Top level yeah. domain? TLD? Mm -hmm. There's TLD. a TLD yeah. for VCs? VC. <laughs> TLDR. <laughs> Too long, didn't read. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Amazing right. to see you. Thanks Thank for you. visiting. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate everyone. it. Yeah. Thank see, you. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye.